Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I'm going to show you around Bach Tower Gardens, which is about three miles north of the town of Lake Wales, Florida. It's a very large property, costs $15 to get in per person. So come around with me, we'll see if it's worth $15. It does look like a beautiful place. Let's take a look. And right at the entrance here, this is who is greeting you. <laughs> well, let's take a stroll through the garden. Here's a really nice lawn. Well, except for that. I don't think that's like an art structure. <laughs> and here is the tower. Right on the other side of this pond. Go to the bottom of it here. I don't know yet just what it's for. What are those? I thought maybe, well, some type of sculpture. Can't tell just what it is. Here's some interesting plants. I don't think I've seen any like that before. Got a curved one. How about that? You see these type of trees with those things hanging down just all over this part of Florida. Here's a close up of the artwork on the side of the tower. <laughs> There's the pond in front of the tower that I showed you, but it's only a small pond. It doesn't go all the way up to it. There's another pond here. This is the pond right in front of the tower. And look at that golden door. I assume it's just gold plated or painted. <laughs> I doubt they would use real gold, but it does kind of look like that. Oh, this guy is going in. He's got the key. Oh, we don't get a look inside. <laughs> Koi, they got a lot of koi in here. Not a lot, actually. There's just a few. See some more over here. Where people are feeding them. The entrance to the tower here is padlocked. I wonder what this performance is. have no idea. And the information booth is closed. So how are we supposed to know? Well, they do have a map here. Visitor map and guide. I guess this is it. Performances at one and three daily. Here's the map of the place. This is where I went in, the visitor center, and the tower is here. They call it the Seeing Tower, and they have trails, hiking trails, all through the place here. 
Here's the back side of the tower. They've got this, I guess you'd call it a moat. <laughs> That's all the way around it. Big lawn here. And you see a lot of people just hanging out. Maybe waiting for the concert. I wonder what this is for. It looks kind of like a sundial, but couldn't be on the side like that. And they have... Can you read that? It's kind of hard to read. This is the other side. I see a light on in there. Some kind of a chandelier. Got some more koi in here and the bridge going across is locked there's some small black fish in here <laughs> these koi they are so used to people feeding them they've got a machine uh, dispenser here where you can buy food you know what I checked online about eating koi cooking them and eating them and it's possible, but they say it's really not a good tasty fish to eat. And, and to buy live koi, they cost a few hundred dollars each. So that would be an expensive meal. <laughs> Well, that was the concert. I read this wrong. I thought it was going to be singing. But what you heard is 60 Bell Carillon. Not familiar with that, but it's like a organ with bells. So that man who went inside, apparently he is the one playing the music. Here's another pond with these cup-like lily pads. This is another part of the property. This is called the Pinewood Estate. And this says, it's a one of a kind 1932 Mediterranean style home. To see the inside of the building, you have to buy a ticket and take a tour which they're not even doing now, I guess because of COVID restrictions, people close together in the house, that kind of thing. So you can just see the outside and the gardens here. 
Got some big flower pots here. But I think it's going to be a long time before they come out. <laughs> Looks like they just started growing. Here's a patio with a screen around it. This is the back side with a couple more screened off patios there. And look at the backyard. How would you like to be in charge of mowing this grass? <laughs> I think they can use a swimming pool right here instead of just a lawn. They do have this where the water is only two or three inches deep. I guess that's all they got to cool off in the summer. And on the other side is the garage. And here is the driveway coming up to it. Look at this clump of trees here. I've seen other places in Florida where they have these like that. Well, that is a nice house for 1932. One problem I see though is that they're not maintaining it very well. Not keeping it clean, see all this? And below the window there, wonder why they're not spend a little labor cleaning it up this area they call the bird hollow not sure what that means that's right next to the children's garden they call this the spider climb and they have these xylophone type things here there's a comfy way to spend your day and they've got a fountain walk here you can walk through to cool off <laughs> Here's a map of the various things they have in the children's garden. Well, this has been nice. They got a really nice place here. If this looks like the kind of thing you're interested in, stop by if you're in this central part of Florida. Good day, folks. <laughs>